Um, Amelia? Today you'll be coming over here, right? That'll be perfect for me. So do you mind buying some bread on your way over? Seems that we ran out of all our white bread, so we'll need some more. <laughs> LOL. Huh? Angie? Are you at your parents' house right now? And what if I am? This is my house after all, so being here is only natural. And right now my husband is away, so I decided to come back to my home so that I didn't get too lonely. Um, is that so? I'll ask Dustin if we can stop somewhere so that he can pick up the bread you want. Huh? I asked your selfish butt to take care of getting the bread, didn't I? What? But we're on the road right now and we're almost there. I'm not really keeping up with your guy's life or anything, but I do know you have a little package in your belly. <laughs> LOL. But you should still be able to buy that bread for me. Next month you'll be having your baby, and so I'm sure you're not allowed to carry heavy things right now, though. <laughs> LOL. Bread? Heavy? Okay. Um, and also the baby's already here. Huh? We ended up having our baby a bit sooner than the expected due date, and so today we are planning on coming there to show everyone the baby. Huh? I never heard anything about this, though. Did you end up hiding all of this from me, you idiot? Um, about that. I know that you really don't like kids, so Dustin said we should wait for things to calm down a bit so that you don't get too upset with us. That's why we kept you out of the loop. Shut up. You think you can just hide things from me because you're some dog? You need to stop screwing around, you idiot. Angie, I'm not going to forgive you for that. I've told the police about this and we'll take you to court to sue you, so you'd better get prepared. Huh? What are you going on about now? I have no idea what that all means. What do you mean you're going to sue me? I, I didn't do a dang thing. You have no reason to be saying that now. When I brought my baby over to see their grandparents after we had only just gotten out of the hospital a few days ago, you came up to me screaming that you're supposed to have your baby first, and then you punched me. You getting sued is what has to happen now. <laughs> what? You're upset about that? I had to do it because you screwed around too much. It's your fault for keeping the birth of your child for me. So you're the one who should be blamed. You came here acting all high and mighty right in front of my face, which pretty much meant you were asking for a punch to the face. L-O-L. I can't believe this. If I'd known you were actually going to be at your parents, I would have never come today. Whenever I choose to be at my parents' house has nothing to do with you. And it's your fault for not asking before you both got on the road. But even still, that doesn't mean you punch me for it. Especially when I'm carrying my daughter in my arms. If you've got a problem with me that you can't deal with properly, then you handle it when my baby isn't around. But to be honest, there is never a reason to be punching another person over something like this. You didn't even talk to me about any of this, instead choosing to just punch me without me knowing why. You talk too much. Who the hell do you think you are? Are you trying to be a dog by having a baby before your sister-in-law? I can't just sit here and let a, a freak that can't follow the rules get away with something like that without getting beat up. You're definitely never getting my forgiveness for any of this. What are we going to do then? LOL. Should I be worried that the family idiot might try and do something to me anytime soon? LOL. It's not even like what happened is anything to even be that upset about. LOL. You punched me in the face and sent me into the wall while I had my daughter in my arms, where she almost smacked her head on the wall. And so what, Amelia? LOL. It's perfectly fine for someone like you to get punched every once in a while, right? LOL. <laughs> Andrew, can we talk right now? If it isn't Amelia, what's going on? The last time I was able to see you was just after you had your baby. And ever since then, I've been wondering about you. This is your first time having a baby, so I'm sure you're getting tired out by now, right? Yeah, if you have anything you need help with, just let me know and I'll be right over. Thank you, Andrew. 
Actually, I do have something to ask of you. Oh, all right. What is it? If you need me to go out and get you groceries or something like that, I'll be around every day. Actually, I'm on my way to the hospital right now. Dustin is taking care of the baby right now, and I'd like you to grab my purse and things and bring them to me. And since you're my brother and all, I thought you'd be up to the task. Huh? You're being taken to the hospital? Was there a crash? Are you doing okay? I'm going to be looked at by the doctor right now, and I'll tell you all about what happened later, okay? Alright. I'll, I'll head out right now, so just hang tight for a bit. Amelia, are you okay not having to be admitted? You took a bullet to the head, right? I think if you I think you staying in there a bit longer to be looked over is a good idea. Andrew, the doctor told me already that I'll be fine. Also, I have to get back to caring for my daughter, so I don't have time to just sit around. You really are one hell of a mother, huh? But if you're not doing well yourself, how are you going to be able to take care of your kid? Please don't overdo it, okay? You were already moving around a lot at the hospital as well. And while in the bed, you ended up falling asleep from being so tired that I didn't even catch all your story. Can you tell me what all went down? Well, before I tell you about all that, I have one more thing to ask from you. Oh? What's that? I'll do anything for you. I'm sorry, but this doesn't have anything to do with helping out with my baby. I'd like you to become my lawyer. There aren't many lawyers around that I can rely on like you, and so this time I'd like to have you be there for me in court. I'm sorry for having to ask this from you. Don't worry, I'll be your lawyer no matter what happened. But the important things that I need to know about relate to that injury you got. It wasn't from an accident, was it? Right, actually, today... Today I took my baby to my in-laws so that they could see her face for the first time, and while holding her in my arms, I was punched by my sister-in-law. And when I think back on that, she used all her strength in that punch. She hit me so hard, it sent me back into the wall, almost hurting my girl in the impact. I made sure to do anything to care for her safety and used all my body to shield her. And when I woke up from everything, I was getting moved out of the house by the EMTs. What? What the hell? What the hell was she thinking when she did that to my little sister and niece? It's lucky that my baby didn't end up getting injured and I came out of it not in too bad of shape. But because of how hard she punched me in the face, I have a black eye and a slight concussion. As well as some bad bruising on my back and arms. What is wrong with her? I will not allow this. Wait, what about Dustin? What did he end up doing when that happened? The fact that this just happened to you and I never heard a thing from him yet. Something's going on here that I don't like. Dustin has always been on my side, Andrew. And for the longest time, him and his older sister have always been at odds. And I think because of the hate they have for one another, she used that against me today. She's done this before to him, punching him and all that. So I should have expected something. Punching your old little brother all the time is already messed up. Actually, when I asked her why she did this to me, she said she didn't do anything wrong. And then proceeded to blame it all on me. Saying that I'm a dog and a freak. Thinking that I'd get some sort of an apology from her after that was my bad. Don't say that. What was she thinking, punching you when you only just gave birth and you were carrying your baby in your arms? There's no way she's getting away with that. Amelia, leave this to me. I'll make sure that anyone that finds it okay to hurt people, let alone you, finds themselves regretting their actions behind bars. She's going to right back to hell where she belongs. Thank you, Andrew. When something like this happens, what should I do? I'm sure trying to stay away from her is the best choice, right? I would never ask you to go anywhere near her after something like this, but we're going to need more evidence of her violent tendencies and it's best to have a lot of evidence in court. I'll make sure to use your guys' texts as well as evidence. And I want you to start getting any other evidence that you might see as useful when we take her to court. Maybe go back to her another time and record the whole situation that unfolds? Just make sure that if things get dangerous, you run away this time. Alright, I'll try my best. 
I'll make sure to leave my daughter at her grandparents' house and that nothing happens to her. And I'll make sure to protect you both. I'm already pretty riled up as it is. But for the time being, you should take some time off to rest and relax. Then after that, we will need all your strength to get the evidence that will win the court case. Just make sure you're ready for anything from her. I'll be over tomorrow as well to check up on you again. Angie, hello. Just as I told you yesterday, I've gotten myself a lawyer. And so with that, I'll make sure to crush you. I want you to be ready for when that day comes. <laughs> Why would I be preparing for that? You're a freaking idiot. Oh, wow. Well. Stupid dogs like you always try to make yourselves look all big and tough, don't you? LOL. You're probably nothing but talk right now. LOL. And how could you even get a lawyer when you have no money right now? LOL. Do you not understand how much it'll cost you to take me to court? And without evidence, things won't end in your favor. LOL. But I guess some people are too far gone to be helped, huh? <laughs> LOL. Angie, why do you have to go so far to treat me like that? I know that for a long time now, you've had things against me, but you've never even talked to me before because you hated me so much. Well... I went to a far better university than my dunce brother, and I ended up marrying an elite. So, I have the right to pick on all of you lowlifes. You, on the other hand, came from nowhere with nothing but a high school diploma, and your parents are nowhere to be found, right? You and I are nothing alike. And like I've said before, you're a dog, and I'm your master. However, at some point along the way, you started to hide things from me, and now I've had to step up my game for your actions. Do you see now why I have to be extreme with you? Well, if you've been trying to put me back down, you've already shown me that by what you did the other day. But to be honest, I don't even remember hiding anything from you, Angie. Really? Are you really saying that right now? This is the reason that I hate talking to idiots like you all the time. Listen, you hiding from me that you had your baby before I could have mine is just bullcrap. There is an order to things in this world, and yet you seem to have never learned that. Did you not learn back in preschool about all of that? You have to follow the order, right? This is the reason you're like a dog, you freak! <sighs> I can't do this. You've been married for five years now, and the reason you still haven't had a baby of your own is because you and that elite husband of yours don't get along too well anymore, right? And also your husband is overseas right now, correct? So the two of you can't even find the chance to make a baby right now. So I don't get why you think I need to wait for you guys when you're taking so long. Shut the hell up. It's your fault for not following the order and doing everything without my permission. Even with all the disrespect you've shown me, I'd expect a simple apology from you. I'm sorry, Angie. I was just in the hospital and so I didn't get back to responding to you. For some reason, I was punched in the head yesterday and so I wanted to get some tests done to make sure that I wasn't going to be fine. You're being way too over the top by going to the hospital for some small punch. And leaving me on red for so long really shows just how horrible a person you are. I think it's time I really start to teach you how to be a proper human. Um, I've been thinking about this for a bit now, but I think you're making a mistake calling me a freaking idiot and a dog. I'm aware that my parents passed away a while back and that I only went as far as to finish high school, as well as being supported by my brother. But when did I ever tell you? I think you need to look in the mirror before you begin to talk to me like that. There's no point in trying to act tough now. L-O-L. I knew all of those things about you without the need to have you open your mouth. I was there when you had your brother around before you married and he told me everything about you too. You were just too embarrassed to tell me about all that. And rightfully so, L-O-L. 
I'd be embarrassed too if I ended up with only a high school diploma and no parents around to help me anymore, lol. And in Dustin's case, he always avoids me, so I was never able to learn about this stuff from him, lol. Wait, but could your brother have lied to me? Maybe he was just trying to make you look good when really you dropped out of high school, lol. <laughs> if that's the case, then I can completely understand you being as stupid as you are, lol. I get it. That's where all of this started. Even though I never told you that my educational background is higher than Dustin's, you took what my brother said as the only truth. Huh? I already knew about the way you treated your brother when it came to his education, so I didn't want to start anything between us. That's why I never said anything to you about where I graduated from. As far as my brother telling you, I'm sure he was joking around at the time. And as far as my brother telling you, I'm sure he was just joking around at the time. And when it comes to Dustin, he has never cared about people's educational background. So I never even told him the truth in case he one day did accidentally let it out. You're telling me that you're better than Dustin when it comes to your education? Um, well, I know that you said you graduated from a university that's far higher up than that of Dustin's, so don't take this the wrong way. But if you think that's a good enough reason to pick on someone, then I should be the one picking on you. I mean, I graduated from somewhere even better than your school, Halloa. Stop lying to me, you dog! Just because you've had a baby before me doesn't mean you can start acting better than me. Some jerk like you could never have graduated from college, especially one better than the place I came from. You need to go burn in hell! Stop trying to one-up me all the time, you disgusting waste of a woman! Andrew, I'm starting to get some things from her that can be used as evidence. It seems that Angie really does have something against me. I don't have anything super deep just yet, but I have some things showing that she truly does have it out for my baby and I. I took screenshots of everything, so I think you can use all of this, right? I want to make sure there's enough here so that I can protect my baby and make sure that a woman like her is never able to pick herself back up. Great work, Amelia. You really got a lot of that done quicker than even I expected. She's going to regret ever thinking it was okay to harm my sister and my niece like that. Anyway, I'd like you to send me all those screenshots in a little bit. Even if we don't have a ton of evidence on everything that's happened, what we do have right now is good enough for me. I'll make sure to make your wish come true, so just hang tight a little while longer. Is all this crap from some lawyer you're doing? What is all of this? I've got things here from the court, and even more things from your lawyer? What the hell is going on here? Did you really end up getting some money to do something? Because it seems that way. Nice to meet you, Angie. I am one of the lawyers from McDonald's Law Firm. My name is Andrew. As of right now, all those documents that you've been given is due to the mistreatment of my little sister. And so this time, I'll be acting as her lawyer in this case. Uh, so you're that idiot's brother that I talked to long ago? So that must make you an idiot as well, right? LOL. I'm not going to let you fool me right now. Although I am acting as the lawyer for my client, she is still my younger sister. I am not letting you get away with what you did to her. And since you committed the perfect crime, I'm going to make sure you're taken in for it. Don't you even try to look down on me like that. There's no way a freak like Amelia could actually have a brother that's a lawyer of all things, lol. I'm surprised to have gotten something from the court, but after thinking about all of this, I can see what's going on here. You must be that dog's secret lover or something, lol. <laughs> you have been trying all along to act as though you're her older brother, but I can see right through it all now. Secret lover, huh? I'm sure that if that were the case, you'd be better off. But because I'm her older brother, that'll never happen. So don't even try saying something so disrespectful. My sister is an amazing woman, and she'd never cheat on her husband. What are you talking about? You're disgusting! If you really are her brother, then why are you working so hard to protect her like you're together with her? I think you understand the reason why I love my sister enough to do anything for her. The both of us lost our parents in an accident. At that time, we were given all the money from our parents, which let me get into college. But at that time, Amelia was still in high school. And so even though I was working to become a lawyer, 
I also made sure to play the part of her parent. I worked a full-time job while going to school, and I am so happy that all my work paid off in raising such a beautiful sister. And so, because of that, I can say that I really am in love with my sister more than anyone else, and I am willing to give it all for her. There's nothing more disgusting than a man who is so in love with his little sister. You both should be fighting each other, not being all in love and everything. I can see now why the both of you are such freaks. Well, if you think that my definition of love meant something sexual, then that's on you. But what's so wrong with my wanting to love my sister and care for her? Huh? In my case, the only family I have left is her. So wouldn't it make sense that all the love I have would go to her and nobody else? So that's why I care for her so much. And the only person that took that as meaning I was for some reason her boyfriend was you. You only try and pick at our lives even more and try to find more reason to treat us like idiots. So we're going back to the main point I was talking about. Due to recent events, you're being taken to court. I think it's best if you get yourself a lawyer soon. Now, I'll talk with you more on the, all this in the coming days. I don't have the patience anymore to deal with you, or else my head is going to explode. So I'm going to take a break and let myself cool off. Stop screwing around, you! What do you mean by take me to court? I haven't done anything wrong! You can't just try suing me for nothing! Right? Are you listening to me right now? Listen to me right now, you freak! <coughs> Listen to me, you dog! Are you really going to take me to court for my money? I get it now. If you go ahead and stop all of this court crap, I'll give you a small amount of money and then you should be happy. Hi Angie, I was starting to think about texting you here pretty soon, but it seems like you beat me to it and are still acting like you were better than me. Why is that? Anyway, if you think I'm only in this for the money, you'd be very wrong. There's other things I want taken care of. Huh? And what's that? I, I told you that I'd give you some money and yet you still want more? I don't really care what you try and do but I hate you enough now to not hold back from taking you to court. But if you really want to handle all of this outside the courtroom, I want you to not only give me some money, but also apologize to me right in front of all the family. Of course, you'll also be apologizing to your mom and dad, but I want you to apologize to Dustin as well. Oh, stop that crap, Amelia. You think you can get my parents and family to laugh at me? Why do you think I need to apologize to you? Seems that you still don't quite get it. Whether we go to court or not, you're going to have to apologize for what you did. After all, you literally hurt me and almost hurt my newborn baby. And so, in that case, the right thing to do is apologize, right? But you seem to not understand that, which means there must have been something wrong with your education. A dog like you has no right trying to make fun of me, you freak. Well, I tried telling you how I wanted this all settled out of court, yet you still don't seem to want to listen to me. So I guess the next time we will see each other will be in court. Stop that crap! I haven't done a dang thing wrong. This is all your fault. So why do you think I have to listen to what you've said? <coughs> Andrew, please let me pay you for all the work you've done for me. This is like you doing work in the office right now, right? You're fine, Amelia. I'm doing all this work because I want to. And we're only getting to do good stuff now. I'll make sure to get as big of a settlement as I can from her, so just you wait and see. I'm looking forward to the settlement from her. But that and this are a bit different. <laughs> Alright, then let's do this. How about, instead of paying me anything for helping you through all this, you just accept my work as a present for giving birth to your daughter. Even after all this, you'll need to be keeping your money, so... Consider this my present to you. Andrew, come on. You really are too nice. Only to you, right? You may not be living with me in this house anymore, but I'll never love you any less than I have before. So even after this is over, know that you can always lean on me for anything. Ah, and I think this case will go great for us. I don't think there will be any way she could defend herself against us. And hopefully all of this helps Dustin out as well. I'd hate for him to get upset over all this. <laughs> I'm sure he'll be thankful for what'll happen to his sister. 
But before you start to worry about me and him, remember that you need to get married yourself. You have both a great face and a smart head on you, so you shouldn't let that all go to waste trying to hang on to me. I have a house of my own now, and my own daughter. So you should start looking after yourself a bit and stop worrying about me. Um, alright. I, I guess I could do that. But you have to understand, this whole time my life has been about you and my work. I know that. You did everything you could for me. And I'm very thankful for that. But that's also the reason why after this, I'd like you to stop worrying about me and Dustin and work on your own life more. That's what'll make me happy. Alright. I'll make sure to find someone that I can focus all this love of mine onto that isn't you. <laughs> Great! I look forward to it. There's no way this is happening. What was all of that? Why was nobody listening to anything I said in that courtroom? You think I should just listen to that idiot lawyer of yours and settle outside the court with you? Everything is acting like they're better than me right now. You are going to pay for this, you jerk! I'm not going to pay anything to you after this. If you'd like others to listen to you, then perhaps you should listen to all that crap you plan to say before you spew it all out. I told you already that this is all due to your childish behavior and that I'd never forgive you for what happened. And like I said when in that ambulance, I told the police about all of this. I think you'll be taken away by them soon, so be prepared for that. Taken away? You mean into custody? You were being serious back then. I was. The way you acted back then was dangerous for my daughter and I, and I couldn't let you get away with that. So in order to protect my daughter, I had to become your demon. Don't you start acting like you're doing any of this to protect that kid. I'm sure the police won't be able to get me. My husband has a ton of money, and I'm sure if I asked him, he could bail me right out of there. My husband may be working overseas right now, but the company he's with is from overseas. He has to work a lot all the way on the other side of the world, but he makes bank doing so. I'll make sure to use his money any way I can, and I'll be back out on the streets to come and get you. Too bad for you, you dog. I'll remember this. I'll make sure that you burn in hell with that brother of yours and your baby. Well, that husband of yours has asked for a divorce recently, so I don't think you'll be able to afford anything. What? I don't think you understand me yet. I told you that I'll do anything to become your demon, and that includes getting your husband involved. Actually, even before that, I had a look into you and your husband a bit more, and I found out you'd been cheating on him. The man you've been with is a handsome-looking bartender, right? Amazing. You go out to him to drink fine liquor, and then after that the two of you go out and make love behind your husband's back, right? Why have you looked into my life that much? That's my private life, you! I could... I could take you to court for that. You're too late, though. You're in the middle of going through the court system as we speak. LOL. And before you try and get your husband to understand you, I've already talked with him and shown him all the evidence. He may be overseas at the moment, but he can still get a divorce. So thank you so much for making all your trips with that bartender so obvious. It really helped me get more evidence than I'd asked for. So with him knowing all of this, prepare to get an earful from him when he tells you the news. Your husband also knows about how all the money he's been giving you has gone into that bartender, so he has every right to be more than angry. But even if you hadn't cheated on him, he also knows about the procedure you got to stop yourself from having kids. I always knew you hated kids, but never thought you'd take away your own ability to have them. Hello, oh, well. You think he's just going to throw me away for all of that? There's no way he could do that to me so easily. Well, you threw him out first, right? So I'm sure you won't only be getting divorced from him, but he'll be asking for a settlement as well. Good luck paying for all the damages you've caused. And I think I'll let you know this right now. I have no plans of going easy on you with the money I ask for. And even if you do lose everything, you'll still have to find a way to pay me. This is your direct path into hell. I hope you have a wonderful time. LOL. No! This can't happen! I I'm supposed to be on top! I've been to a great school and have an elite husband. Why won't anyone come to help me right now? Hey! Can't you-
you at least let me off this once? <laughs> After that, Angie tried calling her husband to cry and apologize to him, but he wasn't having it and they became divorced. She also tried to run and hide from the police in the courtroom, but they were able to grab her just in time and take her into custody, where she was then told she needed to pay us. Along with all of that, her family finally had their say in the matter, and everyone chose to cut ties with her. She was not charged with assault in the end, as I told my brother to let that one go, because I want to see her suffer in this society. However, this did not stop us from getting a restraining order placed on her, and so she is no longer able to come within 500 feet of my family and I. She's now trying her best to work a job so that she can start paying off all her debt. And so these days, you can find her in dirty clothes looking as though she hasn't slept in weeks. On the other side of the coin, I'm doing well living life with my happy family. And every so often, my brother comes over to play with his niece. He only just started to look towards his own future instead of mine. But he couldn't help staying away from his new niece. So I'm sure that my brother won't be getting married for a little while yet. Hey, you no good grubby little leech. I want to know just how long you plan on surviving off of all my dad's hard work. Don't you realize we'd all be so much happier if you just got out of our lives? I haven't heard from you in so long and this is the way you break the silence? I feel like you've been completely ignoring me around the house as well, you know. I really don't know what's gotten into you, but I'm starting to get a bit sick of it. I mean, you're not even cooking the meals that I'm making for you anymore. And just who do you think you are talking to me as if you're my real mom, huh? You really need to remember your place in this family, you parasite. I'm sorry that you don't like the way I worded things, but I don't see how anything I said was false. I don't care what's true and what's false. I just know that I want you out of our lives. I really don't understand. Why are you coming to me and saying all of this all of a sudden? It's not so sudden for me. I know that my dad and I are going to be just fine on our own. We don't need some outsider leeching off of my family's wealth anymore. I'm sorry you feel this way about me, but maybe you should talk about these feelings with your father first. Then maybe we could all talk about this together with each other. Maybe your dad would even agree to move out and take you somewhere. And just why would my dad have to do something like that, huh? It's his house. If anyone should have to leave, it should be you. I really think that you should talk to your father about this before we carry on with this talk. Besides, I make $100,000 a year. What am I leeching off of anyone? I think you just want me out of the house is all. But what I don't get is what you think you're going to gain by doing so. What am I going to gain? Well, that should be obvious. I'll finally be ridding my family of a disgusting parasite that's been living off of us for years. Even Dad is getting sick of having you around. He's always talking about how he has to work all day, but you always spend all of his money. Meanwhile, you hardly leave anything for him to spend on himself. Did your dad really say that? Even about him having to work every day? Well, it's true, isn't it? You're always coming and going to and from the house whenever you want. But dad only ever goes to work and comes home and that's all he has time for. And it's all your fault. You keep a short leash and don't let him live his life the way he wants. I hate what you're doing to him. Tina, I really think that you need to get a grip and reassess the situation. And I don't say that for my sake, but for yours, okay? Just what do you know, huh? Don't pretend as if you know what I want. I know that you're a selfish woman who only ever does things for herself. That's why I want you out of our lives forever. I am trying to tell you that you're making a mistake here. You really need to go and talk to your dad about this. He can explain it all. Let me go and talk to him for a moment, and then I'll come back to you, okay? Can you please just give it a rest already with what you say to Tina? What the heck are you talking about? I don't really care, but can you lend me some money? I'm almost through my budget for the month, and I need more! Come on! You know that you don't give me enough anyways. Just give me a little more! You want even more money? What happened to all that I gave you already? How did you spend it all so quickly? Anyways, we're going to be talking about money after I say what I came here to say. 
You need to have a real conversation with your daughter and tell her the truth about what's going on. The more you put that off, the worse my relationship gets with her. I am tired of her talking down to me, insulting me, and treating me like an idiot because of you, Todd. I am seriously starting to reach my limit. Do you understand me? I don't know what you want me to do. She's your daughter now, too, you know. Go be a good mom and learn how to control your children better. Control her? Todd, she's already 17 years old. This isn't about controlling her. It's about giving her the information she needs to make her own decisions about life. You have to stop lying to her and telling her false information. She blames me for every single problem we have. It isn't fair that I should be the one taking all of the heat because you don't want to step up and tell her the truth. All of this would be solved if you weren't such a coward. I will talk to Tina about my life when I'm good and ready to. Okay? No, not when you're ready to. Now. You've been saying, when I'm ready, for years now. Don't you realize how this is affecting us as a whole family? Yeah, 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 of course. I know all that. And if you just give me a little more money, I'll really think about saying something. I promise. Now come on. I'm seriously down to my last few dollars. You've got to give me something. You really are just the worst. Do you realize that, Todd? Hey there, Anna. I see that you've left for the day. You know that you don't need to bother coming back home ever, right? And just what is that supposed to mean? And since when did you start calling me by my first name? I mean that if you're already out of the house, you should stay out. All you do is make things worse, so just keep away. If you have something you want to say to me, why don't you just come out and say it? Well, I actually sent off the divorce papers for you and Dad. That means that you and him don't need to live together anymore. Dad and I are going to live together, and you'll have to go and figure out your own life. So you really did send the divorce papers for your father and I? And just how did you manage to get away with doing something like that? Well, you probably had no idea about this, but Dad had already printed out the divorce papers and kept them in his desk. I happened to see where he put them one day when he tried to hide them from me, and so I dug them out while he was away. I saw that he had already signed his name all where it needed to be. I really do need to thank Dad for being so prepared. So then you sent out divorce papers that your dad had already signed without telling either of us? I have to say that I am shocked at you. And since you don't even have a job, you probably won't be able to find a place to live now, too. I warned you that you should do a little more research into this before acting, but are you sure you really want me out of the house? Of course I am! This is what I've been waiting for forever! I feel like I'm having a dream come true! I'm finally getting to squash the horrible leech that's been on the side of my family for years! I feel at ease! It's like a great burden has been lifted off of our shoulders and the sun has come out after a rainy day! Just the thought of you being cold and homeless on the street is bringing me so much joy! Well, if this is what you really want, good luck! I guess. <laughs> the one who's going to need luck is you! Whatever you say. I guess I'll take my leave from the house then. But I just have one last thing that I think you should know before I leave. And what last pathetic words do you have to say to me? I'm not the one who doesn't have a job. That would be your father. Wait, what is that supposed to mean? I mean that you said your father told you that he goes to work every day. That's a lie. All he does is spend his days at the casino wasting our money. Wait a second. You expect me to believe that? That's just ridiculous. Why would Dad lie to me about working? And why would he be spending all day gambling? I suppose this really is the first you're hearing about all of this then. But it's true. I'm afraid that everything your father said about me was just to protect his own reputation in your eyes, Tina get what you mean. This doesn't make any sense. Why would he need to worry about his reputation with me? I don't know. You should ask what he would have to gain by belittling me in front of you like he has been. He wanted you to take his side in everything. And you fell for it like a sucker. You defended him no matter what I tried to say. And you believed every lie he told you about me. 
No, this doesn't make any sense. You better start explaining yourself right this moment. In that case, one other thing you should know is that no matter how much your father put me down, he never wanted to throw me out of the house. And yet little did he know that he was pushing you to do just that to me with all of his lies about me being jobless. No, 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 this can't be right. You're just trying to lie to me because you realize that you're getting kicked out. Well, I'm not listening. You're just some crazy old jealous loser. You can believe me or not, it won't really make any difference. But the truth is that I was giving your father money every month. He hasn't made his money in a long time, and yet you listened to everything he had to say about me. You really don't know when to stop all this, do you? I already said that I'm not listening to a word that you have to say anymore. Again, you are more than welcome to ignore all that I'm saying. But quite frankly, I've had enough of you two as well. But soon you'll be an adult and you'll have to take responsibility for taking care of yourself. And then you'll have to choose whether to keep living with your father or go out on your own. <laughs> I've actually learned how to take care of myself for a while now. We don't need you in our life anymore, so just beat it. Well, okay, but you do realize that if I leave, that means I won't be supporting you or your father anymore, right? There you go again, making up more lies. What support have you ever given? You really think that I'm going to fall for that? You act like you've given dad and I everything when all you've done is taken. I know you're lying, so just stop it already. I'm not trying to upset you, Tina. I really am just trying to warn you. I just hope you don't regret what you're doing. Just shut up already, you old hag. Don't pretend like you're all that when you're really nothing. I never, ever want to see you again. You were never my mother, and I'm glad you're gone. Don't ever think of me as your daughter again. As of today, you're nothing to me. We are complete strangers. Okay then, I understand. I am not your mother and you are not my daughter. Now, please don't come to me for anything else. Hey, pick up the phone when I'm calling you, you stupid old witch. Can't you tell that your daughter is panicked? I'm sorry, but I'm in the middle of work right now. Besides, I thought that you said you were going to stop calling me but you were telling the truth about everything. I know that, what of it? Well, so now I finally know that you were. Please, you have to come back home to us. Dad is so mad all the time, I need your help. I really have no idea what you're talking about. Besides, I don't even have a daughter. What do you mean? How can you say that? I didn't, you did. You told me to never think of you as my daughter again. So I'm sorry that you're having a rough time right now, lady, but that doesn't have anything to do with me. Anyways, goodbye. Hold on a second, is this supposed to be some kind of joke? I'm your daughter, you can't just walk away from me. I'm sorry, but I've already told you that I don't have a daughter. We're just strangers to each other, remember? Wait, no, you're, you're not really going to abandon me, are you? I didn't know dad doesn't make any more. And he's so mad at me for sending the divorce papers. He's so scary and angry all the time now. I don't understand what happened. So I guess you finally understand the kind of man your father is now. What do you mean by that? I mean that I was always trying to protect you from him, but maybe that was my mistake because he took advantage of that and lied to you about me instead. But I had no idea he was that kind of person. I thought that my dad was kind and sweet and what should I do now? He doesn't have money, he doesn't work, he doesn't do anything but gamble and drink. I suppose you had better find a job and start working then. But I'm still in high school. I could only work a part-time job at best and I have no idea how I'm supposed to go to college at this rate. Yeah, and to think you wouldn't have had to take out any loans if I was still around. What do you mean? You're not going to send me to college either? Well, I had a whole college fund saved up for my daughter, but since we're no longer family, I'm afraid that I can't pass that on to you. So I'm afraid the only option left for you now is to work for your money. 
Mom, please, you have to help me! Please don't call me Mom. I already told you that I don't have any children. You and I are nothing to each other now, and I owe you nothing. You wanted it this way, despite my attempts to warn you, and now you need to take responsibility. You're almost 18, so consider this your first real life lesson. But I had no idea that Dad was lying to me! This isn't fair! How was I supposed to know that you were making all the money in our house? I tried to tell you the truth over and over again, but you just refused to listen to me. Well, then can I at least come and live with you? I hate living with Dad. He's so scary all the time. I'm so sorry for everything that I said to you. I'm afraid that I have a policy against letting strangers stay in my house. Besides, how do I know that you won't just fall into your old ways of looking down on me and insulting me all the time? But I need your help! I don't know what else to do! Well then, take your first step as an adult and figure out what to do. Good luck, stranger! <laughs> In the end, Tina realized that I was only ever trying to tell her the truth and that it was her father who was lying to her this whole time. It was quite a shock for her to realize this and she fell into a deep depression afterwards. Shocked by learning about her father's true nature and forced to start working to take care of herself, Tina ended up dropping out of high school and working to sustain herself and her father. She tried to message me asking for help, but I had already blocked her on everything by then. I do plan on stepping in to help her eventually, but if I'm going to pour all my money and heart into raising her, I think Tina needs to learn some lessons about the real world before I put her back on track. Thank goodness you're still alive after all that. <laughs> what are you laughing about? This is not something anyone should ever be amused by. Do you not realize that I cannot walk now? Why are you getting so upset right now? You should be happy that after something like that, you're still going to be able to live life in some manner, right? Heck, the dang car got totaled, so I consider myself lucky to come out with no scratches. <laughs> what are you talking about, Kurt? Really? Do you not realize whose fault all of this is? Because of your inability to focus on the road, I'm left not being able to use either of my legs. Why aren't you even coming to the hospital to come see me after that? Every single day has been hell for me! Yeah, yeah, I hear you. But having to go every day listening to you blame me is a real pain. And do you really think I want to think about having to push you around in your wheelchair right now? That's why today, I've gone out and got our divorce papers, and we'll be filling them all out. What? And tomorrow, I'll be bringing them to you so that you can fill out your half. I want to have them handed in before noon. So make sure you fill it all out correctly. Oh, wait a second. What are you saying, Kurt? Are you serious right now? About what? After having put me in a wheelchair now that I can no longer use my legs due to your reckless driving, you're just going to throw everything we had away and divorce me. Well, the Skylar I married was never in a wheelchair. And since you're in one now, you're not the same person I chose to love. And honestly, I cannot be asked to care for you at home. And so... Divorce is the only option, okay? I can't believe that you're acting this disgusting towards me right now. Do you not even understand what's happened between us? I'm... I'm never going to forgive you for this now, Kurt. I couldn't care less about you forgiving me or not. <laughs> We're probably never going to meet again anyway after the divorce, right? We'll just become two complete strangers living in two very different worlds from one another now. <laughs> And I mean that as in you'll be living in a world where normal people don't have to be. <laughs> where normal people don't have to be. You can't walk anymore, right? So you'll never be able to live like us normal people anymore. <laughs> and for me, I can't be asked to live with someone that can't walk. I'm at a loss with everything you're saying to me. I have no clue why you and I ever got married in the first place. But I never thought to myself that the man I'd been married to was a monster... At least now, after what's happened, I finally had my eyes open to the kind of beast you really are. I'll be bringing the divorce papers tomorrow morning. I'm sure you won't be able to come and get it for me, right? You can't walk after all, so that sucks. <laughs> Why, Kurt? Why are you being so mean to me? I'll make sure to have my little brother come and grab all of my things from the house. But I'm really hoping that in the meantime you begin to realize how awful you've been to me just now. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if I happen to feel any regrets, I'll let you know. Goodbye forever, you piece of crap husband. Long time no see, Skylar. You doing all right? <laughs> what? Who is this? What's up with that? You're being a pain in the butt again. <laughs> you know dang well who I am, right? I bet you're pissing yourself with joy because I've come back to talk to you. <laughs> I don't think I have any reason to be joyous about getting a text from the worst man on this planet. What do you want from me? Make it short, please. What's going on? <laughs> Your attitude right now is a little bit unwarranted. You're not even close to the same Skylar I knew from back in the day. <laughs> Seems you may have forgotten what you had done to me two years ago. I'm tired of having to explain what happened back then, so just get on with whatever you've come to me for today. I'm going to be getting married again. <laughs> huh? Well, I bet you're pretty surprised by that, aren't you? And the woman I'll be with is only 21 years old. She's like... 10 years younger than you. Being able to marry a very young woman like her is the best thing that could ever happen to me. <laughs> All of this is so gross and annoying that I'm getting the urge to vomit right now. But before I do, what is your reason for telling me this? Huh? What's that lame reaction for? <laughs> well, whatever, I guess. I'm just letting you know that I'm getting married again. I just assumed it was the right thing to do since you're my disabled ex-wife and all. <laughs> Well, thank you so much for going out of your way to tell me that. But I'll be going now. <laughs> hey, you're being too cold to me now. <laughs> what did you expect to get from me by coming back to me after two years to tell me that you're getting married again? Come to my dang wedding, Skylar. <laughs> what? I'd like to take a long-awaited look at you in your wheelchair. <laughs> so come to my wedding. I'll make sure that everything's okay for a cripple like you to even make it into the wedding. <laughs> Wait, are... are you being serious with me? You want me to come to your wedding. Why do you want me to be there again? Well, to be blunt with it, my girlfriend really wants to see you. She doesn't believe me when I said that my ex-wife is in a wheelchair. And when I explained the situation to her, she still couldn't believe me. And so, I just thought I'd have you come to the wedding to prove I'm telling the truth. I even told her that I left you because I hate disabled people. <laughs> Yet she still just could not believe what I was saying. <laughs> it's so cute when she gets like that. Huh? You... you said that. It doesn't matter. So just come. I'm sure you have nothing else going on, right? You can't even work a real job without your legs now. <laughs> I do not have a job right now, but... Well, you couldn't get up to do anything, so of course you don't. <laughs> I wouldn't say that's the reason for it, but... It's thanks to me leaving you after that accident that I'll be able to marry such a young woman. I'm so dang happy that I wasn't looking at the road that day. <laughs> Hold on a second, Kurt. Are you sure you really want to be saying something like that right now? <laughs> Sorry. I was just telling my true feelings. <laughs> well, anyway, what I've been trying to say with all of this is I was right to throw your crippled butt away two years ago. <laughs> I'll be marrying a youthful 21-year-old now, so I'd love to see your face when you come. <laughs> well then, I'll come along with my splendid husband. You have a husband now? <laughs> Are you trying to compete with me now? I can see that you'll try whatever you can to look down on me, but I have a life of my own now. Fine, I'll come to your wedding, Kurt. I'm actually looking pretty forward to having my amazing husband come with me to see the wedding of my monster of an ex-husband. You are so full of yourself. <laughs> I can't wait to see what creature you bring along with you. See you later, then. Hey, Skylar! What the hell is going on? What is going on with what? Why are you with Dr. Frank right now? I told you that I would bring my splendid husband with me today, didn't I? Seems that you thought I was pulling your leg or something there, though. But I made the promise that I'd bring him, and so I did. But why did you end up hanging out with that high-life living doctor? Because he's my husband. Huh? Wait, you're joking with me. You're saying that your husband is actually Dr. Frank? That's right. Is there something wrong with me being with him? Why are you with an elite doctor? There's no way he should have gotten married to you. Don't you think you're just blinding yourself with all of your lies about the person you think I am? I mean, you work in the pharmaceutical industry, Kurt. You should be more understanding that a man like Frank would want to be married to me. He may be a super well-known doctor to a lot of people in the medical world, but 
that doesn't mean he's as cruel as you are. I know that in the past I said that I'd never forgive you for what you did to me, but because of you leaving me, I was able to start talking to him while being treated in the hospital. And so actually, I do forgive you and thank you for being a jerk and leaving me. Huh? You met him while in the hospital? It wasn't at the first hospital I had been admitted to. Rather, at the next hospital I started staying at for my rehabilitation. And while trying to get my life back together, I met him. And we soon found ourselves getting married to each other. I never wanted to think of all this being because of what you did to me, but now I think much differently. I can truly say that I am thankful that you were such a monster. And because of that, I'll say thank you this one time. Something like that happened to you. I never thought that could happen. And just to let you know, my current husband is very much upset with my ex-husband. Huh? Dr. Frank is? He can't believe that one of the employees of a pharmaceutical company that he partners with would be so disgusting. At first, I hadn't wanted to remember all that happened between you and I on the day of that accident, and after. So for a while, I didn't tell him too much about the details. But today, I decided that it would be a good idea to let him know what you had done to me, and now he's fuming with anger at what he's heard. He's even started going on about how he'll make sure that you learn your lesson for what you've done by having you dismissed from that company. Hold on. There's no way he could do something like that, right? Stop going on about such nonsense, okay? I'm sure that a man as powerful as Dr. Frank can in some way do something about me, but but going that far about something that happened in the past is going way too far, right? What would his reasoning even be? Do I really have to explain to you the reasoning? If you really take a step back and think about what all you've said and done to me, you'd understand why he's as upset as he is with you. Well, just be happy that we didn't bring any of this up to you at your wedding today. We've already left now, so you don't have to worry about seeing either one of us. Huh? You've already gone home? I wasn't even able to introduce myself properly to Dr. Frank. You seriously went back home already? Frank told me that he doesn't want you introducing yourself to him. I mean, that makes sense to you, right? Don't tell me you don't even have enough common sense for something as trivial as that. You jerk. Are you kidding me? But on the way out of the wedding, we made sure to tell the bride. Huh? What did you say to her? About how you're the worst man on this planet. And about how it was really all your fault that the accident happened and the reason behind me being in this wheelchair. And since you and I were married, I couldn't sue you for what had happened. And you just handed in the divorce papers for us and threw me out because you couldn't handle that I became paralyzed from the waist down. Wait, what? Why would you say something like that to my woman at this wedding? She's going to start thinking that I'm some kind of monster now because of you. Maybe you shouldn't be such an awful person if you don't want her to think of you as a monster. LOL. But that's not all. What else have you done? Can you just stop all this crap? I let her know that you'll soon be out of your job, and she'll be with a man that is unemployed right off the bat. And then I proceeded to suggest that there was still time for her to call off the wedding. LOL. Why would you say such needless things to her? Is that the whole reason that I haven't been able to find her anywhere yet? She just texted me. This cannot be happening to me. She just told me she cannot see herself marrying an unemployed loser and is canceling the wedding. Now I'm going to become the laughing stock of everyone that's come here to see our wedding. Why would you do all of this to me? I come so far and you're destroying it all now. <laughs> I have something that shouldn't be all that surprising for you to hear. Doesn't this all seem like you getting what you deserve for the monster that you've been? Huh? What do you mean by that? Perhaps this is all due to what you've done to me in the first place. LOL. I know that what I'm saying right now is 100% correct and that you asked for all this after putting me through hell back then. So, do you understand things now? But, but you didn't have to be the one to do all of this to me. Of course I had to be the one to do all of this. And listen, I'm not the one that forced her to leave the wedding. She was just being smart by choosing not to get married to some brainless jerk that would probably do the same to her as you did to me. To any sane person, I did the right thing by telling her about you, LOL. Why would you still be this upset with me, though? Because of what you've started, my life is going to get all messed up. Stop trying to ruin my life right now. At least hold off of trying to have me fired from my job. I'm in a really good position in the company right now. I don't really care about what happens with you, Kurt. And besides, I've already told my husband everything and he's free to do whatever he wants with the information. 
frankly, <laughs> I don't even have a problem with him having you fired from your job. But know this, I'm not the one that'll be firing you. So from here on out, I have nothing else to do with you. I'm sorry that I couldn't stay until the end of your wedding and all. But it doesn't matter now since the wedding will be canceled, right? LOL, sucks to be you, LOL. You stop all of this now! I can't believe you ruined my whole wedding to such a young woman! I'm pretty sure it was you that ruined a lot of my life two years ago. But after causing me to lose my ability to walk after your own inability to drive, you never once came to me to say sorry for what you'd done to me. So why are you getting all worked up now over your little wedding getting ruined? I get it! I'm sorry! I'm so sorry! Is that what you wanted from me? Now stop trying to ruin my life any more than you already have! You should know that back then, I didn't mean any harm to you by leaving you, right? You and I had a lovely relationship back then, right? So don't make me lose my job just over some silly little accident! When I told you that I'm not working at the moment, you immediately started telling me it's due to being a paraplegic, right? Right now, my husband is making a lot of money for us, so I'm a housewife for him. And actually, I'm able to work as a freelancer at home making money doing the things I love. So I think it's fair to say that destroying someone that looks down on people for being disabled is the right thing to do, right? Please don't say things like that. I never meant to make you feel bad. <laughs> Goodbye, you piece of crap, Axe. And thank you so much for inviting my husband to that precious wedding of yours. LOL. After that, my ex-husband Kurt really did end up getting chewed out by his boss on the phone and lost his job on the spot after I finished texting him. He had tried his hardest to get his boss to listen to him, but was replied to with his boss letting him know that in a pharmaceutical company, there is no need for someone that is hateful towards those with medical disabilities. And once he had gotten off the phone with his boss, the news that the wedding had been canceled was out, along with the reason why. And a whole lot of guests there stormed out while laughing at Kurt like he was the joke that he was. He then ran after the bride and tried to ask her to stay with him, saying that he still loved her and knew that deep down she still loved him. But her parents came to interrupt things and let him know just how much shame he had brought to all of their family by letting their daughter marry a monster, him. They then proceeded to tell him that they would be cutting ties with him, and he was left with nothing but himself and the costs of a canceled wedding. Kurt really would have been better off had he never contacted me again after the divorce. But because he went out of his way to try and get a few more blows into me by making fun of my disability and all that, he lost both his job and the young wife he was so proud of. At least for me, having him text me back after all that time gave me the chance to finally get my revenge and make sure that he couldn't hurt anyone else after what he'd done to me. 